Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing how to perfect your wing liner without it taking forever because we've all been there, we've all been new at this at some point in time, and we all know that the struggle is real when it comes to the wing liner. It used to take me about 10 to 15 minutes just for my wing line. Like if I was going to be somewhere and I had to do my makeup and I was gonna be wearing a wing line, I had to set aside like an extra 10 to 15 minutes just for the wing liner, just for that process, because that in itself is a process. I've had to pick up a few tips and tricks from different makeup artists and you know, some sometimes Instagram, like Instagram is way, great for inspiration, great for motivation and great for tips. And so I've taken a few of those tips and tricks and techniques in order to perfect my wing line and not only perfect it but get it under roughly like three minutes it literally doesn't take me that long to do my wing line anymore i'm going to be talking through so it's not going to be exactly three minutes but once you incorporate the tips and tricks that i'm going to show you it will take you less time all overall it will take you less time and it, you'll get to where it only takes you like the three five minutes or whatnot but i mean that's a lot better than the 10 to 15 that i was spending before because every minute counts if you want to see how I achieve a three minute line, just keep on watching. Okay, so here I am in all of my bare face glory. Um, not pretty, I know, but it's okay because we're just worrying about liner and I usually do my liner before I do my lawnmower, before I do my foundation or anything like that because just in case I need to clean up anything or because I cleaned up something, I don't want to have my foundation on, do my liner, and then have to clean up after my liner and then have to do that little spot of foundation again. It just makes no sense. And so I leave it all the way until the end. One thing that I have been doing though, is I have been using um, the scotch tape method. I know, I'm sure some of you have seen it, especially it's all over Instagram. You know, you put it on in order to help you like sharpen the edge. But the reason why I use it is because sometimes when I do my liner, I, you know, I'm like, okay, yeah, this eye looks good. And then I do this one, I'm like, okay, yeah, this one looks good. But then when I look at it, it's literally like this. And so this edge is like going this way and I went this way, on um, this way on this side. And so it's just, it do doesn't match. And at the end of the day, you spend like, you know, 10, 15 extra minutes doing your liner all to have to do it all over again. This will help prevent that. You will align it before you start doing your liner. So, you know, the wing is all facing in the same direction, just opposite side. You just take a piece of scotch tape and you put it on the back of your hand um, it lessens the adhesives when you're pulling it off it's not um, so hard on your skin so you just get it to how you're going to on your liner you want to do it right next to the eye and just gently put it on all right for time's sake I'm just gonna show you how I do it really quick with this one Okay, so here is my eye, up close and personal. So, I used to, one of two brushes. I really like, I used to, really, I still do at times, like the, um, the Sigma, the E10, which is just this, this brush here. I don't know if you guys can see it, it's not focusing. There it is, there it is. However, I really need it. I can really shape this guy, so I really like this one. I also really um, like the Sephora brand gel liner, which is, I believe, it just, it just says 26. I have no idea. I've had this forever. This is like one of the first eyeliner brushes that I ever um, bought or I ever purchased. I didn't really use it at first because I really didn't know how, but once I got the hang of using gel liners, I kind of got a little bit more comfortable using other types of gel liner brushes and so once I tried this one I kind of was like why did I never use that brush that I've had for years they both give me more precise application which is what you want obviously and then as gel liner the only one that I have been absolutely in love with and please if you have any suggestions leave them down below any suggestions I am constantly looking for another liner that I love more than the last one that's more pigmented one that's gonna last longer that doesn't flake doesn't dry it doesn't look cakey or whatever and the only one that I have like that's really been a bang for my buck has been this Ulta one 
Now I mentioned it obviously like on my blog and I've mentioned it on Instagram, but here it is. I literally found this like by mistake. I was on my way out of Ulta one time and I saw it on the like Ulta shelf. They have this huge shelf right before you check out of different kind of Ulta products. This was one of them and it was a $10 product. So I said, you know what, why not? And I, this has absolutely been my favorite, my most favorite liner. So this is typically what I will always do my liner with. Okay, so typically what I'll usually do is with this, this is the brush, I'm sorry, I didn't show you guys before, the Sephora brand brush. And it's just a regular round tip brush, um, but it's really small so it helps with uh, being precise. And what I do is, as you can see, this puppy has gotten a lot of use over the last few months and so I usually just dip my brush in and then I wipe up the excess on the sides yeah like so and so on one side and on the other and then I try to make it to where the liner has a point I start right in the middle of the lash or of the of your Blah, 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 blah. I start right in the middle of your eye. There you go, Sarah. Right in the middle of the eye, and that kind of just determines what my thickness is going to be for the day. And I will start flat, like with my brush flat, never like this, just because obviously that's gonna give you a really thick line, which we don't, I mean, unless you're into that, then that's cool. I usually start it like this, and I face down a little bit. I'm trying to keep myself within film reach. And I will start right in the middle. It's always so hard to talk when I'm doing my liner. It's so weird. Okay, and so that's how we're gonna determine our thickness. I always start small and then I build depending on how I want my eyeliner to look for that day. I find that this really, really, really helps if you start in the middle. And then you just go back and forth And you want to keep going into your product that you always have um, a fresh product on your brush. You don't want to have too much product. That's why you're going to wipe off the excess from the sides. Um, but you want to have enough to where you can glide it on and it's not going to like skip on you. And then this is the easy part. You just start it wherever you feel the most comfortable. And I usually go against my crease. So like where you open your eye, there's your crease, and then that's where I'll start my line. Or the end of my line. And then I'll just bring it straight across. And then I'll go back in, dip it. And I'll bring it back again. Ah, I'm trying to stay in the frame, it's hard. Okay, and then you're just going to fill in the blank or fill in the gap there. If you want a more pointed um, end, you can always go upward. Not a big deal. And obviously the tape is there for a reason. You're going to get a super sharp edge at the end or in the end. Can't speak today. Okay. And then you can bring the liner in to the corner of your eye like as much as you want. Some girls will stop here and sometimes I will too just because I don't want to deal with the hassle of like having to go in there and try to get it precise if I'm just in a hurry or whatnot. But we are going to do the full line today. And so I will close my eye a lot of time like this just to make sure that like this line is straight. Now that I see that it's straight, I don't have to go back in and fix it or anything like that. And so I'm going to go into the inner corner of my eye. And obviously really close to my lash line. It's so hard to tug and do liner. All right, and that's it. And then at the end of it all, you're going to just simply take the tape off and reveal a line. Now right here, it's not a perfect line as you can plainly see. Where am I? If 
fix that too. And that's it. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you were able to learn something and take something away so that you can incorporate it into your own wing liner routine and that I've made it somewhat easier for you to achieve. So um, that's really pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace. Tuesdays. Thank you.